Oh, hello. <laughs> well, I got round the corner with my rucksack, which is way too heavy, I hasten to add. Uh, there's the entrance to the park now. And this is Clavelli Road. Uh, and I'm fairly certain that Kenneth Kendall used to live there at 43 Clavelli Road. Uh, Fairly certain he lived there. Uh, was up in that top bedroom there when I found these two gold watches with uh, gay lovers' inscriptions on the back. Uh, so clearly he was uh, cohabiting. Uh, there was two different sets of men's clothes in there as well. So he was cohabiting with a man, except he was in the closet. And come out as gay. Uh, when I burgled him, uh, I got another man to come with me, somebody that I'd squatted with, because uh, I was frightened. Uh, but usually, when I was uh, stealing, I did it alone. That way, nobody can grass you up. Anyway, it turns out the person who uh, I took along with me. I think he did grasp me up. <laughs> Never mind. He had a heroin habit. Uh, and I got in. There used to be, uh, I'm not getting these people on it. Um, there used to be an alleyway down there, which is no longer there. Uh, but I went down the alleyway, got in the back garden. This is the third house along, so the one with the, uh, the extension in brick next to the extension in white. Uh, and I got in for a cat flap, a cat flap, not a cat flap, but it was for his dog, a little yappy white poodle. Uh, I saw him, I saw him come through Lammas Park walking his dog. Followed him and he went in that house there. That's why I burgled him. Uh, don't like these things, flipping annoying. Look, they're all over the shop. Uh, some of them are lying on the floor, trip hazards. And they put them in places where people in uh, wheelchairs and stuff, uh, it blocks their access. Mums with buggies, you know, just leaving them all over the shop. Uh, they're not environmentally friendly. That is not environmentally friendly. Uh, don't know about all this green stuff on it. There's nothing green about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not in a good mood here. Quite agitated. Uh, when I burgled him now. Um, I left a load of stuff in the alleyway. I came back for it. Uh, and I walked down here. Went down the alley. Picked up some stuff. Uh, that was in a bag. <clears throat> and as soon as I walked out of the alleyway, I heard a car engine start up down the road. And I looked and I could see two blokes sitting in the car. Uh, and they revved the engine up a bit. And I scarped down here and then uh, turned left and went through the park. Uh, so if they was going to follow me, they'd have to follow on foot. Uh, but they tore down the road here. Uh, I didn't look back, I just run through the park. Anyway, that's John, who I took with me <laughs> for a bit of protection. Uh, Grasped me up. I'm fairly certain on that. Uh, and I ended up in detention centre. Short, sh short, sharp shock. Anyway, that's, this is where I used to live when I was a kid. Thanks very much.